Mapagpalayang araw, Faith Friends! Welcome to the We Reflect series of Faithbook Foundation Incorporated. Ako po si Jennifer Kate L. Alvar, your Gospel Sharer for today, February 9, 2021, mula sa mabuting balita ayon kay San Marcos, Kabanata Kapito, Talata Isa hanggang Labing Tatlo. Before anything else, I would like to mention first the perspectives of Jesus' public ministry that is being shared to us through the daily gospel. From Jesus who made an effort to extend his public ministry outside his comfort zone last Sunday, to the woman with the hemorrhage who reciprocated the effort of Jesus by lifting her hand with faith yesterday. On today's gospel, let me reflect with you the community after witnessing the miracles of the greatness of God since day one. As the Pharisees question Jesus on why he is allowing his disciples to eat with unwashed hands, Jesus replied the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and teachers of the law, in which he quoted on verse 7, Worship him in vain and follows the teachings that are merely human rules. If we are to respond on that, maybe some of us would say, Okay lang naman palang hindi sumunod, basta wala naman tayong ginagawang masama. But reality check, our moral compass was built through the Ten Commandments presented to us by Prophet Moses, in which Jesus revisited in the New Testament by providing us with the New Commandment. To be more understandable, laws were made by our country to maintain peace and order. Schools and workplaces also to guide its community on how to follow and live its mission. And of course, rules by our very own parents and guardians. We need to know something and be oriented of it before hopping on to the real deal. Kaya nga nagkaroon tayo ng mga orientation during first day of classes. During your first week of work, of course, your HR must be have this orientation to you, uh, presenting you the rules before you start with your job. Rules and laws are important. It gives us the clarity of what we do instead of doing nothing to avoid chaos. It is made for us to be followed. But, it is a great reminder from Jesus today that we should not nullify the word of God by the tradition that we humans have handed down. Let me share to you this personal conversation between me and my dad. I once asked him kung bakit hindi na siya nagagalit kapag hindi na sinusunod ng aking mga kapatid ang kanyang mga rules na nasabi nung bata pa kami. Me being so faithful sa daddy ko at siya bilang sobrang traditional na ama, he replied na matatanda na daw kami and dapat yung mga nasabi niya na sa amin nung mga bata pa kami ay alam na namin ngayong matanda na kami. And alam na namin yung tama at mali. Which struck me, leaders just like my dad have handed us so much rules in verbal form or in written form. And marami siguro doon gasgas na or indifferent na tayo. Same with today's gospel, the disciples are aware. Jesus himself is aware too of that tradition. But the reason why he allowed it, it is because there is a higher form or higher moral compass above human laws. And in any circumstances, we must follow the human laws but always consider the fine line if that rule is according to God's will. Maraming salamat for reflecting with me. For more daily reflection, you may subscribe in this YouTube channel and hit that notification bell to be reminded of the daily We Reflect videos. Masarap simulan ang araw kapag unang Diyos!